Hey everyone, this is Ovisk, who many of you won't recognize. It's been a while since I've uploaded by looking at my videos, and especially by looking at my Roblox videos, but that's not the point. This is my development journey on making my first game ever. I've been playing Roblox for a long time, and I've always wanted to make a proper game. The challenge is I've never scripted, neither have I 3D modeled, and make sure to subscribe if you'd like to keep updated with the series, and let's get right into it. So for my genre, I chose Tower Defense. A little trend has been going around the world and it's capybaras. Me and my girlfriend love capybaras so I chose capybaras as my theme. Also before starting development on this project, I started Blender and my 3D modeling journey 2 months prior with a bunch of YouTube videos and courses to learn with. Of course I started poorly but I've gained enough skill to make nice low poly content that can be seen here. So now we have our theme and genre, I got to work and yes I started development about 2 months ago. One of those months I didn't work on the project due to vacation. So let's get into it. I started by creating some lobby assets and I had the idea of creating a little sphere as the skybox and border to keep an enclosed space. I then created the first capybara and animated it in the lobby which you can see. Didn't really look good and the rig was very hard to work with so I ended up starting from nothing again and recreating the whole capybara to make a way better looking capybara with a better rig for animation. Here are the differences. I also discovered the cubic animation type, which helped with the natural and smooth animation so you can tell the new shopkeeper is way more nice. I also did animate 3 different idols for the shopkeeper and created a script that would randomly choose one of the 3 and play it out each time. And I scattered a bunch of little baby capybaras that would either eat grass or look around and use the same script from the shopkeeper. I forgot to mention I worked on the lighting and got many of these textures by a model texture pack and learned a lot of low poly from a YouTuber named Rollbuilder. So I'd like to thank Rollbuilder and I'd recommend if you like to learn modeling, check him out. With the scripting side of things, I learned a lot from the Dev King. So I'd like to also thank the Dev King for tutoring a bunch of fellow new developers in the field. Back to the lobby, I started working on a barn and came out with this cool little barn that fits the low poly aesthetic and textured it. I imported it into Roblox and started filling in the interior and making it little patterns to make it look like it's an actual barn. I then created little cubicles for the maps and decorated each of them with more assets and created some lighting so it wouldn't look too dark. I really love the highlight effect which helps with illuminating objects like the text and boards for the map's image selection. The next episode will be primarily about creating the actual tower defense maps and will be a lot of scripting also known as my weak point. I know this was just short devlog mainly as I only recently wanted to record my journey while 2 months ago me wouldn't have known. And I hope this devlog is motivational to other developers. Unfortunately, I haven't been very motivated to scripting and I'm publishing in hopes to help others and myself to keep motivated and release this game at some point. I really didn't understand how hard it would actually be creating a game out of my league and there will be lots to work on. But that's part of the journey. Thank you everyone for watching. Let me know of any ideas in the comments and like if this video was entertaining and of course subscribe if you'd like more updates. If you have any feedback, let me know. Peace.